Hello YouTubers, it is Ivy Hellgear, and you know what time it is when you see this. It's event review time for Merge Dragons. So, if you agree with or disagree with anything that I may have to say on this matter, let me know in the comments section below. Also, share your experiences in the comments section below on how you did with this event. So, check it. The second Sea Dragon event came at the end of August, which essentially makes three events that have happened so far that month. But the second Sea Dragon event, again, is much different than the first. I was away from home over the weekend of Labor Day when this event happened, but if you guys want to see how the Sea Dragon event works, I have the first Sea Dragon event in my Merge Dragons playlist. Give that a look through and I hope you enjoy. Now as far as this Sea Dragons event went, it again was different island wise setup. And in all honesty, there was a lot going on this Labor Day weekend, you know. If I had another day. I probably would have landed the level 4 Sea Dragon, which you can see on the left. And I like this picture, you know. When the second events have come around for the particular dragons, they use a different picture. And I would know this because when I did the recap for the Sea Dragon the first time, it was a much different picture here. Now, what they were talking about on their social media pages to give the post a like if you manage to heal the entire island. Now, for the record, when I play these events, I never heal the entire island. You know, healing the entire island would be a nice thing to do, but I just am unable to. So, the really interesting part about this take on the Sea Dragon event is the island. And a lot of the tiers were, well, I, I can't call them, I keep calling them tiers. They're called charms. I have to make a note of calling them charms because that's exactly what they are. They are the charms for the events. What the? Hold on. All right, I had to check on my clothes there. So, the island setup was pretty decent. But one thing I've been noticing as far as these events have come along is you're not really getting the level 3 charm spawn tier. So, you have to make do with two level 1, level, well, I can't say level 1 because level 1 doesn't get you anything. You have to work with two level 2 to um, spawn tiers to get your charms and that's rather tedious. This is something I've been catching wind of for the past th four events actually, not three, the past four events. Seeing all of those seashells is still fun. This is actually the one event where the charms look really really cool. I don't know if they're going to do another event this September but if they did, I wouldn't know what event it would be. Honestly, a new dragon would be nice. But if they decide to do a second dragon event for one of the currently existing dragons from the first season, I wouldn't be mad. Trying to figure out which one it is, however, is the big question. But one I do know that isn't happening is the Wood Dragon. Because the Wood Dragon we got last year around Thanksgiving. So they're probably either going to bust out with a completely new dragon. Or they're going to do one of the other dragon events for the second coming. Again, I was out of town. Well... I wasn't out of town. I was away from home, so I didn't get to record anything. But I did manage to play. And if I had one more day, 
If I had one more day, I'd have been able to get the level four because when I was putting in the grind time over Labor Day weekend, which you're supposed to use that time to rest anyhow, but there was an anime convention in town and the majority of my time went to that. But I would fiddle with the mission and the event every now and again. Net was spotty at that hotel. I should make a note on doing something for the requirements to get into these events because again what they've implemented and when I say they I mean the Merge Dragons development team what the Merge Dragons development team has implemented with these events now is you need 35 dragon power to access all of the events now let's just be real this sea dragon looks pretty interesting almost like a leviathan which I've always liked the design of the sea dragon and I didn't get too far the first time around. I think the first time around I only got enough for the three eggs. This time around however I took fourth place and it was and I'll be honest with you I wasn't expecting to take fourth place. I was expecting to go halfway and I literally was like down to the wire. There was three hours left, and I'm like, you know what, let's go for it. Let's go for the nest. And I was looking at everything, and for an unfortunate reason, the game kicked me out. But when I got back in, it was like a less than 10 seconds left and managed to score enough tears to get the sea dragon nest, taking fourth place. And it was like five seconds left. I'm like, okay, go to camp. And I hit on camp, but it's like, okay. It's saying entering camp. Obviously, the event's over. And fortune smiled upon me. I was able to claim the Sea Dragon Nest. So I took fourth place. Would have taken third, but I just didn't have the time to collect the rest of the charms. And taking the... Taking fourth place to get some more eggs was nice because I already had two sea dragon eggs left over added to the three that I got from the events and the nest gave me another assortment so that was like six more so I had a total of 11 eggs and I was like okay I have 11 eggs so what I did was I separated three and, and I've been doing this more often, so if you guys want to do this strat, by all means, please do this. When you get your eggs for whatever event dragon it is, don't merge the three eggs right away. Instead, once you get the nest of the event dragon, place it in a nice open area. Now, after you've done that, set the three event eggs that you got earlier on in the tiers and I can say tiers this time for the tiers and place them around the event dragon's nest then tap on the nest to get the eggs and you'll be able to min max your dragons that you hatch I ended up getting 11 eggs so what I did was I separated three and then merged the other eight and when you merge eight, you get three back. So essentially, it was a combo of three whelps, which you can see on the right next to the egg. And then I got the kid from those guys, which again is on the left next to the egg. Then I just merged the other three and got another whelp. It's actually a solid strategy for getting the the most out of your eggs and sometimes you'll have eggs left over plus if you manage to get the sea dragon whelp the first time around you could buy the sea dragon eggs in your shop now the third place item and this is something that I was asked to talk about because one of my peoples who watches mentioned the tertiary dragon from the last episode. Now, listen, if you guys managed to get tertiary dragon eggs from the Sensei Dragon event, po 
post post with the post the Sensei Dragon's tertiary event dragon what it looks like on Twitter. I gotta go back through the uh, community and see if somebody actually managed to get this thing. Because I would like to know what it looks like. Especially what the egg of it looks like. Because I don't know if the Merge Dragon's wiki has updated. And remember folks, the Merge Dragon's wiki is powered by the Merge Dragon's form. But the tertiary dragon for this event comes from the third place item. And that's the one where it's a particular item and it spawns in anywhere from three to eight eggs of the tertiary dragon. Now the first time we got the sea dragon around, it gave us aqua dragon eggs. And they're more of a brown and beige colored dragon. So if you got third place, that starfish looking tear should have spat out some of those aqua dragon eggs. I have one in my camp, but I need to get more. That's okay because I have the aqua dragon nest in my egg shop. Ah, uh, gotta spin them gems, baby. Gotta spin them gems. Now, before I get into this next part, and I and I really need to get into this next part because it is very very, very important. I'm going to reiterate the dead horse that I've been talking about for so many events. And many people in the community, gamers, as well as other players on social media, agree with me on this one, and that is simple. Three days is not enough time. I was lucky to do that late push and I managed to go to sleep and wake up early in the morning to do that last bit of grind before the time goes out. But if I had one more day, I'd have got the level four. And I know a lot of people who, even with the three days, they didn't even get halfway through this event. And I say this often regardless of things, three days is not enough time. But I want to show you guys a little something really quick before we end this off. Let me just load this up. Now, there are people who actually do the sad part. And that sad part is they spend money to clear the event. This is something that has happened often. You know, it happens often, but nobody wants to do that especially if you have to burn through resources like real money or those big chunks of dragon gems to actually clear the event that's just not fun and one of the things that i've always said is these events should have more time so Let's just rewind and take it to Twitter. This is the Merge Dragons Twitter announcing the event on Friday. Dream of Blue Seas, Wave, Love Underwater Creatures, Octopus, and Whale. You'll just love our upcoming event. And they show off this pick. Apparently it's called the Ocean Breeze event. I left a comment. Players will love this event more if they had more than three days to play it. By the way, three events in one month? I've said this since the beginning. Three days is not enough time. If players had more time, they would be able to get a lot higher on the tiers and even get the level fours. This is something that I was thankful with when it came to last year with the wood dragon, ice dragon, and even the sensei dragon. And this is something that the previous event, the sensei dragon was. Originally, the Sensei Dragon event was five days, but they cut it down to three. So, Merge Dragon's Twitter page replied back to me. This is what they said. Hi, thank you so much for your suggestion. We really appreciate it. We will review this with our team and hopefully be able to implement it in future updates. Yeah. So, everybody, 
you can thank me later in the comment section below for mentioning this. But apparently, it's up for discussion on getting these events longer than three days. I'm not saying it's a guaranteed thing because, you know, they have to talk with the development team about it. But after a year and a couple of months, we have a shot of getting these events a reasonable length of time. And when you have enough time, you have a better shot at getting the level for Dragon. So, the suggestion has been made. They're looking into it. So it's up for the Merge Dragons development team to decide to uh, make these events longer. And if you guys at the Merge Dragon development team do make this longer, you know, do the five days. If If players can't get the dragon in five days then that's on them and I say that because Thanksgiving came around for the wood dragon you gave us four days and that was cool because it was Thanksgiving we needed that time between burning off turkey and whatnot now again five days is a good enough time I could appreciate these events being five days long you know some say the event should be a whole week. You know? Give it the five days first. Or at least have the events five days permanently from now on. That way, players who put in eight hours of work and then come home and uh, don't have enough time during breaks to do the events, they have some chance at getting a lot higher tiers than just the three eggs to hatch the whelp. If you guys agree with or disagree with anything I've said, again, let me know in the comment section below. Do you feel that the Merge Dragons development team should extend these events longer than three days? Say in the comment section below on how many days you think the event should be. I think the event should be five days. You might want them to be a week. You might want them to be four days. You might want them to be six days. But let me know how many days you would like these events to be in the comment section below, as well as sharing your experiences with this event in the comment section below as well. And again, followers are welcome on Twitter. But for now, I take my goose from the oven because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.